Iran investing its drone technology to remain one of the top countries in combat drone development Iran's Ministry of Defense is investing in its unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, technology to ensure it remains one of the top countries in combat drone development, according to state media. According to the Jerusalem Post Iran has produced several lines of drones, such as the Ababal series, the Mohajer, the Karar and the Fatros. The Karar, for instance, is a jet-powered target drone manufactured by the Iran Aircraft Industrial Company. Many of Iran's drones are designed similarly to their US and Israeli counterparts, the Post reported. Its Fatro Zuav was built by the Iran Aviation Industries Organization IAIO, and is one of the largest drones operated by Iran. It can fly up to 25,000 feet and stay airborne for 16 to 30 hours. The Post noted that the drone has retractable landing gear. Iran has also invested in vertical armor-piercing bombs to be used by drones, according to the outlet. For instance, the country's military has equipped its Mohajer 6 UAV with bombs under each wing and used it against Kurdish dissident groups, according to the Post. Iran has also armed its Karar drone with an Mk-82 bomb, an unguided, low-drag, general-purpose munition. Second Bridge. Gen. Afshan Kajafar, head of the IAIO revealed on Saturday that Iran is one of the top five countries in UAV development. The international bodies which assess the country's air combat power have ranked Iran fifth world power in the field of drones or UAVs, Kajafard said, Fars News reported. We will certainly supply anything needed inside to strengthen the country's deterrence power and we will not wait for the removal or extension of the sanctions, Kajafard added, insinuating that the country plans to export military products following sanction termination. According to the outlet, Iran has made giant advancements in the aerospace industry, especially in the manufacture of UAVs. Last February, Iranian Army Deputy Commander for Coordination Brig. Gen. Mehdi Hadian revealed that the country has gained salient achievements in the defense industry, electronic war, and training affairs. In 2018, Secretary of Iran's Aviation and Space Industries Association Haim Siedi revealed that Iran is among the top 10 countries worldwide when it comes to drone manufacturing, Fars News reported. The group also said that Iran is building drone components in eight factories across the country that it then ships for assembly and deployment in Iraq and Syria, where it has numerous militia groups operating under its command, or at the very least strongly influences. While Israel, and certainly the Mech, always have a strong self-interest in portraying Iran as a dangerous aggressor, Tehran has undoubtedly made unprecedented steps when it comes to supplying many of its powerful militia groups across the Middle East with increasingly independent drone capacities in recent years. There is ample evidence and examples from the past two years alone that aptly demonstrate how this has become the case. Reuters, citing Iraqi security officials, reported that no fewer than 250 Iraqi proxy militiamen had traveled to Lebanon over several months in 2020, where advisors from Iran's IRGC and Lebanon's Hezbollah militant group trained them to fly drones, fire rockets, plant bombs and publicize attacks on social media. The Reuters story detailed how Iran has shifted its strategy to relying more on smaller groups rather than larger established militias for certain operations. These groups, the report revealed, are less prone to infiltration and could prove more effective in deploying the latest techniques Iran has developed to strike its foes, such as armed drones. Rand's proliferation of drones in the arsenals of its proxy militias across the Middle East has received quite a bit of attention in recent weeks. This isn't surprising. After all, in the space of just a few short years, Tehran has supplied its proxies with an unprecedented number of armed unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs. It has also given these groups the means to locally manufacture them, something that could reshape the way wars and proxy conflicts are fought in the Middle East in the near future. 
On 12 September, Israeli Defense Minister Benny Gantz said that Iran is using its cash and airbase north of its cultural capital Isfahan to train terror operatives from Yemen, Iraq, Syria, and Lebanon in flying Iranian Maduas. Shortly thereafter, in his address to the United Nations General Assembly on 27 September, Israel's new Prime Minister Naftali Bennett said that Iran in the past year has operationalized a new deadly terror unit, swarms of killer uvs armed with lethal weapons that can attack any place anytime.